Hello friends, in this video we will see paging using Ajax form and partial views in MVC5 code first entity framework. In this video we will try to achieve paging without loading the entire page. In order to achieve this we are going to use Ajax form and partial view helpers in MVC. Now we also recommend you to watch part 1, 2, 3 and in the part 3 that is in the previous part we have shown how to implement paging in MVC5 with HTML grid. So we are continuing on the part 3 with the same example to achieve the paging using Ajax and partial views. So this is the application as you have seen in the previous videos. So we have home controller where we have implemented paging and we have also implemented add, edit and delete for the grid. We have employee class which is the model. We have grid context that is we are using code first approach and we have the index view. So the view looks like this and the paging works for the grid so if you click on next you can see the records are being fetched from the database based on the paging but you can notice one more thing the entire page is loading on click of next and previous so we don't want that we only want the grid to be updated not the entire page so in order to do that what we are going to do we are going to have a partial view wherein we will have the HTML for entering the grid and based on the next and the previous we are going to return the partial view to the entire view so that only that partial view content will be updated not the entire page and we are going to use Ajax form which will help us to fulfill this so let's start the coding for this now in order to achieve this we are going to add one partial view so let's add one partial view so let me stop the application so we are going to add one partial view here so we say add view and we want to create it, it as a partial and I'm going to ne name it as employee grid okay so I have a table which is responsible for entering the grid so I'm going to cut this table from our main view okay and I'm going to paste the entire view here okay and in this view I'm going to accept model of type I enumerable that is of type in employee I enumerable so I say sample grid dot models dot employee okay and in the index view I'm going to use HTML dot partial that is partial view name so let's uh, first run the application and see whether we get grid or not so as we have removed the table from the index view you can see here the grid will not be rendered on the view so you can see the page is empty so in order to render we have to call the partial view so we are going to use partial helper so this partial helper will directly call the partial view so we need to pass the view name so our view name is employee grid and we are going to pass the model as well as we are accepting model of type employee list so that on iterating over this model it will create the table rows so let's refresh the page so you can see the, the grid is rendered okay so now in order to achieve the paging without loading the entire page we need to have Ajax form here so let's replace this with Ajax form so I say Ajax dot Ajax dot begin form okay and it accepts the Ajax option so we are going to pass few Ajax options and the first Ajax option we are going to pass is updated uh, HTTP method so we are using post in our case and the second is the insertion mode insertion mode is basically uh, insertion mode dot replace so we want every time we are returning partial view we want to replace the existing records and updated target ID this is very important this is the employee so I'm going to give it as employee uh, employee employee div for now now what is the significance of this updated 
updated target id property is it searches the uh, searches the div it is going to search a container with this id and it will update the content written by the partial view to that container so let's create a container so we are going to have a new div inside another div so we are going to place this partial view inside this div and i'm going to give employee div as its id attribute so when when you're clicking next and previous so this form will be posted to the server side so let's make some changes to the server side as well so at the server side i'm going to return partial view instead of view and i'm going to use the last overload so i'm going to pass the name of the partial view and the model the model is basically the records we are passing so the server side code is also done so when the button when on clicking the next or the previous this form will be posted to this method and this method will return a partial view so the ajax form what it will do the html returned by the i mean the response that is returned or the view, the partial view returned by the ajax post will be updated to this div as we have set the updated target id to employee div okay so let's run the application and check whether the things work or not so if you click on next button you can see only partial view is being rendered only partial view is being returned so this basically shows that the ajax operation has not been performed so this this will basically so whenever you are working with ajax you have to make sure about two things that is client validation enabled should be true and obtrusive javascript enabled should be true if that's okay if client validation enabled is not true but unobtrusive javascript enabled should be true and you need to have a reference of jquery unobtrusive dot ajax that is this file this ajax file in your view okay so let's add the reference let's add the reference of this script file on our view and try it again so let me refresh the page so if i click on next so you can see the paging is happening and it is only loading the grid entire page is not getting loaded so this is how you can achieve the paging using ajax and partial views which will not load the entire page but only the grid content so this makes very smooth and it will not affect the entire page will not load the entire page only the grid will be loaded so this is all about paging using using ajax form and partial views in mvc5 thank you friends i hope you like it